my happy Valentine's Day. It's tomorrow and I probably won't get this up before then. So um, I'm having a lot of computer and editing issues and stuff like that. So anyway, this is Birchbox February and then I will do a review of the products that I tried in January. And can I just say, I love this box. Like, I just wanna wear it. Does it come in my size? Because it is beautiful. It is a, like a bright orange and pink and um, my bed's a mess, and even if I do make it, uh, the two hounds are kind of mixed together, but the back, back hound, she, in the morning, will dig under the covers and push all of them almost off the bed. But anyway, why I said that is because my, my sheets are, my comforter is pink and orange. Alright, so, um, remember please subscribe and share my videos, let me know what other type of videos that you would like to see, and, um, I would appreciate those of you who are using my referral codes, I really appreciate it, especially the, the wonderful ones that have, I've had a couple of those, because that one's really expensive, and I love it, but... I really can't be paying full price for it. So, um, and a reminder, I have a pin Pinterest board that I'll refer to um, that I put products on. Um, some of them I have tried once or twice, and some of them I haven't tried at all. Uh, so if you want to swap trade or buy, I'm down with that. All right, so let's get to it. My sample choice this month, um, I was pretty excited about because I had ran out of my Mary Kay, Mary Kay, my Mary Kay um, travel size. Like, I, um, makeup remover and I love it love it love it love it and it is old like I was excited I don't know a year or two ago when I found it like I had probably had it for five or six years at least so anyway um it's just I love it so anyway I did end up running out like a week ago so I ended up going to Sephora and getting this which is very similar it feels a little bit more greasy but um it's very similar and then um but anyway my sample choice that I picked for this month something I'm excited about it was uh, the makeup remover because I Normally I would not be excited if this was in my bathroom, like, ah. But anyway, even though I already bought one, I'm, I'm thinking there could be one for the bathroom, for getting ready for bed, and one for the vanity. And if you guys want, I just got a new vanity made for me. Um, so if you want, sometime I can do a video of my two favorite makeup storage application places. Um, if you don't want, then I won't do it. Okay, so this is the Marcel Gently Makeup, Gentle Makeup Remover for Sensitive Eyes. And I love that. Okay, because this stuff, my, especially my, I don't know why I'm going to like, do you see it here? No, you can't because I got makeup on. Um, especially this eye, for some reason I get like, it gets a little bit hard. I wouldn't say crusty, but like hard and really dried out. And even whether whatever makeup I wear or if I don't wear makeup, if I put some stuff on it. So um, I really like not having to scrub and stuff. And it's just this corner and sometimes it hurts. So I'm really excited about this. Um, where's my little card saying what everything is? I don't think I'm going to be happy. Oh my gosh. This is one of the things I like about Birchbox so much more than Ipsy is they have cards and this is the card that like I'll show you last month that describe everything in your box and what you're supposed to do with it and a cute little thing about it and this month it just says learn more about your samples at birchbox.com my box and review them to earn five dollars to spend in the birchbox shop you don't need to motivate us anymore to do that we already do it because it's awesome system and we get five bucks back pisses me off all right anyway I'm mad I'm mad okay so this I assume because I don't know I can bottle that I would just put it on a cotton ball or something and wipe off and voila. And then here is um, a card for um, Get Gorgeous On, score a free benefit cosmetics, the professional Primer Deluxe Mini uh, with any full size benefit purchase on Birchbox.com. I mean I don't understand why they're not giving you a sample of this because I already got a sample of this at Sephora the other day. Alta's doing it too. Um, in store too, like online and in store for example. But I haven't tried it yet, but they aren't cruelty free, so um, I'll use the sample or whatever, but I won't purchase from them. And funny enough, if you look at the sample, they're gonna be cruelty free, but they're gonna have a dog on their packaging. Is this the dog you tested on, Benefit? So, anyway, I mean, not. <laughs> Some companies test on dogs, sometimes on rats, sometimes on bunnies, so it's not all dogs. Anyway. I love all animals. And then I'm excited about this because I'm going to a gala. Going to a gala. Um, I love getting dressed up. Like, love it. And I was really, really bummed at, like, my senior prom because 
I was like, this is the last time I'm ever going to need to wear a formal dress except for when I get married. And that's not true because my campus Christian organization, I convinced them. <laughs> Couple of girls got together and we convinced them that I want a formal and it was so, oh, it was amazing, it was so much fun. And then I went to grad school somewhere and convinced them to, uh, they did springtime formal and I actually helped put that all together, so, and that was a pretty good time too. So, I will always find a way apparently, but anyway, this is, um, Rent the Runway, and it is a gift for Birchbox subscribers. This, this is $38 off, which is really nice because off of $75. I already found the dress on there I like, it is, I think, $75, and, um, so that helps with the price and they send you two sizes so I'm pretty excited about that uh, if you go to their website and just sign up even without this card you get $25 off for signing up with their email but this doesn't say that's what I was checking for you it doesn't say only new clients so if I had to order use that $25 off at one point I apparently I could use this again so that's nice that's exciting check out Rent the Want Runway I think it's kind of a neat idea a little nervous about it this time so this is Amika Nourishing Amica, I don't know. Um, nourishing mask. It's in C. Buckthorn Berry. Um, intense conditioning for hair repair for all hair types. I just got my hair cut today. My stylist said it was really damaged. And I said, look, bitch. I did not actually. I said, I know. Cut off as much as you need because it has not grown really since last year. It wasn't getting any more length. And I had a traumatic event happen the day before my birthday last year where this lady dyed my hair all wrong. And then a couple days later they tried to fix it and they bully like it was it was bad um and it took actually three or four months to get my hair all back one color no seven so anyway it damaged it a lot and so she needed to cut like almost four inches off sad day um because normally i grow my hair out pretty long and then i chop it off and i donate it but now it's so damaged that i wouldn't be able to anyway let's have a moment okay all right so back to this this is exciting i might try it um because i do need some repair with the hair I'm gonna try coconut oil too. I bought some. I just tried. All right, and this is the. There's a little card in here. Uh, skinny liquid eyeliner in black um, by Echo or Eco. That. Mm. And then I got my. There. I don't know why they always give you this, but I don't hate it. Okay. And then. This is one thing I just like about Bridge Box is. They give you the option, like, if you don't really like perfume samples, we won't send you more than six a year. Okay. I don't want any. I, uh, people like this, though, but I just, strong things bother me. And it's ripped. I mean, who cares? But, but anyway, I'm just not, I won't even smell it, because even just some smells instantly give me a headache. Most, I have to smell it for a little bit, like, I'm not that crazy. All right. And last, this is probably one of the things I was most excited about, because I am on a hunt for a foundation, some kind of liquid to put on my face that doesn't make me look older and doesn't make me look greasy or even like ashy in a way. Like, there's so many weird things that foundation does, but it, almost all of it makes me look old. It sets in lines you can't even see that I have without makeup um, and creates some lines that definitely are not there. Um, just like, I don't know, probably from how I move my face and stuff, but I just, I would like to find something. Anyway, so this is Kula. And it is mineral sunscreen, and it is unscented, and I like that. Oh, I meant to smell this. Let's, let's smell this. I love their packaging. It's so pretty. Okay. It has a thing on it, but you can't smell it. It, um... Oh, it smells like my grandma. Like a good memory. I miss my grandma. Anyway. Okay, okay so... This is natural BB cream, and it is a mineral sunscreen, SPS... S... S... P... F30. Um, and this is just a matte tint, and I'm excited about a matte tint. I just, um, uh, from Birchbox, I got the Your matte tint, or no, the Luminizing tint, and I really liked it, and especially for having kind of oily skin, I was like, mmm, this is gonna make me look shiny and just gross, and I really liked it. Uh, it does, after a while, I do start looking pretty, pretty disco ballish, but not, I mean, not for a few hours. Um, and I really liked how it went on and how it made my face look. So, I used my Birchbox points to get, um, the, their matte, the Your matte tint. So, and it's pretty much the same stuff as this, I think, so I was kind of laughing, like, why, did, why didn't I wait? But, anyway, this was like $40, and it only took me, um, four months of Birchbox, and I only had two referrals in that time, um, to be able to get, to earn enough points to spend $40 in their store. So, um, I'm very impressed with their point system, so I'm going to get a full-size thing that I would never, ever spend money on, even, no matter how much I love it, I would not spend that much money on, um, Foundation. So anyway, so that's what this is. It's just like kind of tinted sunscreen. And I am finding that there are ways, if you want to Pinterest, um, how you can kind of make your own stuff like this. And I feel like um, something like this probably wouldn't be as hard to make as like an actual foundation. I have no idea, so don't assume I know what I'm talking about ever, 
ever assume that I know what I'm talking about. Alright, well, so I'm not like in love with this box. I'm not in hate with it. Um, really, everything in it I could use if it works for me. Um, I wasn't excited about the brand of the eyeliner, but this was the thing I was really, really excited about, so. And this I'm... Gosh, I just dropped it because... Anyway, I'll get that in a second. Um, but anyway, I think it's a pretty good box. I mean, $10. Look, this was 7 at Sephora. 1.69 fluid ounces. And this was, I mean, I think I ended up getting it on a deal, so my boxes are like a little over $8 a month because I got a subscription on sale. Um, this is 1.7. How are they? The, oh, this one's shorter but fatter. <laughs> These are the same size. And this, they're pretty much kind of the same price. In a way, because then I got all these other contents in the box for free. So, I love Archbox. box. I just, I love it. And it's that oily thing, too. Just like, I bet they're pretty much the same thing. Anyway, I'm excited. Love the box. Love Birch box. All right. Let's, okay. let's get moving. Okay. So, I have the card to tell you what all this is. I'm really going to have to just write them and be like, Birch box. You disappointed me. All right. So, this is the Essential Elements Wake Up Rosemary Body Lotion. I have smelled this. It is too strong for me. I know it. I have not tried it. I do not know anything else about it besides too strong, and I think it's a cute bottle. So, this will be on my Pinterest board. And now I can't tell you how much everything is either because they didn't give me a card, and I'm lazy. Anyway, okay. So, and this is another thing. So this is the Curl It Curl Keeper. I have just a little bit left in it. Um, um, I remember I was like upset because I don't like having to put stuff in plastic bags, but Curl Keeper gel, this is actually pretty cheap for, um, I, I think, $10.17.50. The thing that I, I don't, they, they didn't have it written here. They didn't have it written, like, if you check your um, Birch Box box online, like they tell you to on that one card, um, it didn't say how much to use. So I asked a couple people who also get Birch Box, and they were saying they were using like half the, the bag, or the package, or whatever you want to call it. And I was like, gosh, and like, I mean, the one girl was like, I have really thick hair, and I was like, well, so do I, should I be using, like, I don't know. So anyway, the first time I used it, I didn't use all my other products, and so that was a little scary for me, but I used probably um, two quarter sizes, about a half dollar size, um, and uh, put it in my hair, I really liked it, actually, I was really surprised, because I'm really hesitant to try new hair products, um, ever since that lady messed up my hair last year, and my hair was fuller, bigger, kind of like Beyonce, and a disco ball or something like that, and like, it was really good, and it was a little frizzy, but not like in a bad way, like, it looked like style controlled frizzy, and I liked it, however my hair was getting a little tangly, and then the, the first time I used it, it was amazing, and then I used it a couple more times, and even when I used a little bit, it would get crunchy, and it said, I thought somewhere I read, like, no crunch, like, I'm over the crunch, I did that in the ninth grade, and it was great then, but not so much now, and then I used, tried to use, like, half the packet, um, like those girls told me, and, I mean, I think it, it didn't really do much else, it actually weighed my hair down a little bit, um, and it didn't look greasy that day, but I normally go two or three days between washing my hair, and the next day, like, I, yeah, I needed, I needed a little, a little sprucing up, like, the dry shampoo was not gonna help, so, anyway, I'm sorry I don't have a better, like, opinion about this, because, uh, it is on my favorites, and I do plan on maybe buying it sometime, uh, but also, Right now, my hair gets tangled very easily in the winter between static and scarves and necklaces and coats. Um, I actually had to cut a big clump off today. I let my hairstylist do it because normally I can kind of work them out, but it wasn't happening. So I kind of want to stick to my own routine. If I need to add to it, that's fine, but take away my routine. I don't know about that. Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream, full size is $38. It is uh, supposed to conquer wrinkles and dark circles at the first signs of aging. Um, dab a pea size amount along your under eye um, and steering clear of the lash line. Well, here's the thing, I never steer clear of the lash line because I forgot and I thought that this is what you're supposed to steer clear of the lash line. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure I've gotten it in my eye and I'm, I think I'm just as blind as I normally am. So anyway, um, here's the thing, when I, I, when I opened it, I had to squeeze it almost down that far, like it was a little bit more full, um, about down that far to get any product out. So I was like, this is practically empty. Um, which is apparently why, but, um, so I just posted it to their Facebook, first box Facebook, and I said, is this how this is supposed to be? And people were like, no, blah, blah, mine was, like, flooding out, like, as soon as, you know, they opened it. And, and then there was a couple people who were like, yeah, mine were too. And Birchbox, uh, sent me another one. And, uh, that was really nice. So, uh, I was excited to try this. This is the original, and I'm still using it, and probably been using it for two and a half, three weeks. Um, I don't notice that it lightens, really, and right in the beginning of this, I was, I did have some dark circles for me. Um, but it was mostly due to sleep and stuff. I didn't, I don't feel like it did anything to fine lines. I do have a couple fine lines. Um, 
one thing it did like is how it made me feel right here. Like, it just felt really soft and satiny. And then I also put it up here, and it didn't take away that weird thing, that, you know, hard itchy spot that I sometimes get that dry itchy spot. But it did take away, um, or it did just make it feel better and, like, my, my under eye area feel better. So, I don't know if, I mean, I feel like two and a half weeks would be time to see some kind of results, um, but, blah, blah, blah. so, I don't know if I'm going to put the other one in, the full size one, <laughs> the one that all of them that they sent me, into all my Pinterest board or not. However, just so you don't get the wrong idea, I do not think that it is Birchbox's fault that this was only half full. Like, I don't think, you know, they drank half of it or something. Um, and that's why I wanted to ask, too, because some companies, just like you get potato chips at the store, and the bag's already half empty. Um, it's just how some companies work. So I didn't want to be like, oh my gosh, they didn't get half the product. So, and they're, they have the best customer service. Like... It's amazing. Ulta also, just side note, has great customer service. Like, I feel like I do have to contact Ulta like every other order, like because they somehow the points thing didn't work or something. Um, well, this time they had a twenty percent off sale, and I wanted to get um, a steel of magnificent metals, which I realized they are not cruelty free. Um, so I didn't end up getting any because they said online the lady I was at the store and the lady said I could always get coupon once and they didn't have some of the things I wanted in store, and so I was going to shop in store and online. And she told me to you know, probably go do it online, which made sense, because a lot of stores have more stuff online. Well, anyway, so I went, and they at least had some of the, the magnificent metals at the store, um, but I go online, and it says they're all available, and you click on every single one, and go to order it, and it says, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. And I was like, Ulta, what's the point in having something on your website that appears available that's not? And they're like, we're so sorry. Let's, let's work with you on this. And I was like, okay, and I just really wanted, like, them to give me that 20% off, because I actually was allowed to use it on Prestige, and, you know, a lot of uh, brands that you're normally not allowed, and I just wanted them to give me that 20% off, but they gave me a gift card. I thought that was really nice. So, it's the little things. That's actually a huge thing, I think, because most companies would be like, sorry, here's five dollars if you spend fifty. So, yeah, they gave me, like, a, a true, like, gift card. And that was, I thought, pretty darn cool of them. Alright, so, we've got two products left. I'm sorry this is so long. I always say that. I guess I don't mean it because I keep making them long. Okay, Miracle cool Skin. I was so excited about this. And because, like, I had some zits going on when I got it. Um, but anyway, this, and I'm hearing this a lot from a lot of people. It was too dark. This is the Treat and Conceal Eye and Face. Um, $36. And I, mean, I went and even checked my um, Birchbox profile. And mine says light skin, I think it is. Like, there's um, one a step before medium. And anyway, this color is medium. So, definitely when you want concealer, you want it a little bit lighter. You definitely don't want it darker when it's under eye. It says, get rid of blemishes and dark circles, so, I don't know, I feel like they messed up on this because I can't even, I think it was probably good. I used it on a, a zit. I get a lot of zits here. I mean, I, I touch my face all the time. So anyway, I used it on one and even though it was a little bit dark and it did seem to cover it up, but eventually I just kept rubbing it until it pretty much went away because it was, it was too dark. Um, I feel like even in the summer when I get pretty tan, it would still, I used it on my under eyes once. The, the first day, I just went and tried it and I was like, um, so, uh, this will be on my pin board. I think it probably is a good product, but, uh, make sure you're a little bit darker than me if you want to trade it. I mean, and it's expensive, too. I mean, $36 for a regular size, so, um, and I feel like this would last you a good, a good amount of time. So I'm pretty bummed about that, because I was excited to get that. Um, last month's Birch Box kind of wasn't a great one for me. The Curl Keeper I kind of liked, um, and then the Under Eye Cream... I enjoy putting it on. It feels nice, but I don't know if it's doing anything. This was the only product I was excited last month to get. This. And I hate it. It's stupid. It's stupid. So, it's like... I can't even explain it. It feels like you're putting kind of like jello on your lips. It feels kind of dry, and it gives you barely any color. I can't even explain, and I wanted to wear it for you today, but I ended up going other places. Um, it barely makes my lips a little bit darker. Like, my, I have, like, kind of a, a dark, well, my lips are hydrated. Um, I have, like, a dark rose pink color. Um, it made them look a little bit closer to, like, a light red color. And, um, although I like that look, I can achieve it a lot easier by just wiping some red lipstick on and rubbing it right off immediately. This, um, and it did, it made my lips feel kind of dry. Um, and it wasn't a stain, per se. Like, it'll stain for two or three hours. So, um, and so I used it on my cheeks, and I felt like I liked it a little bit better on my cheeks. It showed up, but it's still a real weird texture to be putting on your face. So, I don't know. I'm not a big fan um, of this, and this will be on my pin board. So, uh, I think if you're one of those people who really likes... I don't like to wear lip products anyway. I'm trying to just force myself to do because I think it's always something you have to reapply. That I have stains that um, will stay on, but they're still... 
like after four or five hours, you see where you need to you need to touch ups. I am a low maintenance, high maintenance person. So I think this would look really good on somebody who has kind of pale lips or somebody who likes a more really natural look, but they still like to wear wear stuff. Um, anyway, so. Time for Mandy's Magnificent Monthly Must-Haves. I just want to tell you that I have been doing a lot of um, shopping. There's been a lot of deals and stuff. So if you want to see my hauls, like I just got some Makeup Geek eyeshadows and stuff today. I've never tried them. That's actually some of the stuff that's on my eyes now. Um, just so you know, I put all my makeup on except for I did touch up my lips real fast. I put all my makeup on about six or seven hours ago, so lasting power for all of it. I think that's kind of important to know. Um, all time I've been to Sephora, I've been um, makeup geeking, so I do a haul um, of my last you know, month strip because I've done some earlier. Um, I can tell you kind of what I thought about stuff. Um, that being said, just so you know, I just bought the Anastasia contouring palette, and then the next day I got an email that NYX has one out. and. Um, the Anastasia one is $40, and the next one is $30, I think, at Ulta, but you can sometimes get better deals there, so check there, because sometimes I'll buy one and get one 50% off of any NYX product. Um, and I think $25 at on NYX website, which if you sign up for their email, you can get 25% off. So anyway, that's whatever you think. Um, I have dog hair that just floated in my nose, I swear. But anyway, um, I think theirs has like eight colors. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, eight colors. And um, where Anastasia only has six. But they have like a banana kind of color too on there. So I don't know how well it is. But I love NYX because they're cruelty free. So is Anastasia. But check that out. Um, because if you always wanted the Anastasia one, the NYX one is still a little bit cheaper. And it's going to be cheaper to maintain. And you might be able to get it on a good sale. So um, I did expect them. Gosh, now I think I don't know. I did expect them to have it maybe a little bit cheaper. But if, if you kind of think about it, Anastasia is, isn't really that expensive for them, I feel like. So anyway. Um, I got theirs 20% off, that's why I went ahead and did it, so. My monthly must-have thing, this hair, these dogs, Oh, look how sweet they are, um, is the, it's dupes. MAC has great products, um, everybody says, everybody talks about them on, like, blogs and reviews, and, um, like, people, I guess a lot of people who do the makeup tutorials and stuff, I guess they've worked at MAC or whatever, or they're just going with cult, I don't know. But I think MAC's expensive, and a little overhyped. I mean, they might be great, but they're other great products. And I find it frustrating to watch a makeup tutorial or review and it's only be MAC things. So, um, I am trying to work on finding MAC dupes and NYX has a lot of them. They used to have a lot more that were easier to look up because they used to have, um, different eyeshadow shades and names and stuff, but then they redid their packaging recently and so you kind of have to figure it out again. So anyway, their pigments, MAC pigments are amazing but they're like 15, 20 bucks. I don't remember how much they are. Um, I've never tried a MAC product, but the, also the reason I want to find dupes, because you know I do buy some higher end stuff, is because they are not cruelty free. And I think it's, it's really upsetting that they are so represented by certain people. And there are certain people who have animals, and I'm like, what if that was your animal being tested? We don't need to do that anymore. Well, I don't know if we need to, why not test on prisoners like those you know, pedophiles and stuff. Why can't they just, like, then at least they can consent. Like, don't force them. But, hey, they like the human contact. So, anyway, whatever. Um, but that's the biggest reason I'm, I'm doing this. So, um, I just want to find some good dupes. I threw, I've thrown about, mm, probably 90% of my makeup away in the past three months. And all my makeup is pretty much new. I wanted to get into makeup. I wanted to start new. And I didn't realize what I never knew about Ulta or Sephora until, like, July. So, I walked in and I was like, oh. Overwhelmed and exciting. It was like re being reborn. All right. The pigments. This one I've had for a while before I even realized they were dupes. And I was like, this is kind of cool. Um, I will tell you, it is the worst system. Like, they need to have some way for you to apply these. I just put a little powder on my hand and do it. Um, but they, it, you could make a mess if you're not careful. So anyway, I don't know. This is a, I can't remember what this is even called. I think it's called Sky Pink or something. Um, but I, I wear it quite often. I have worn it. It's very light and sheer. I don't like, um, some kind of setting spray on them or I've even used water and that's been fine. Or you can use like, um, eye drops like for contacts and stuff. That works too if you're trying to save money because it's all about saving money. And look, I'm pretty. Okay, so um, anyway, this is Oro. This is these are called the NYX 
Ultra Pearl Mana, Mania, sorry, and this is called Oro, and this is pretty much a, a dupe for Mac Melon. There are some things online that say to mix this with another color, but I don't think it's that big of a difference that I really want to take the time to try to mix them and put them in different containers and all. So, and these are only like $2.99, guys. And if you go to uh, Ulta when they're having, and I don't know, I know they don't sell this at the store that I go to, like the grocery store I go to, but I guess they sell these in like Target and stuff. Um, but at Ulta, they have buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one 50% off sales off NYX all the time. And you can use it three, $3.50 off $10 and stuff on this brand at Ulta. So, I mean, you're saving money. So even if you're like, I don't know what this Mandy girl's talking about, just try it. Just, just do it. Okay. So anyway, and this is the pearl color. It's called pearl. And it is a dupe for MAC Vanilla Pigment. So, that that's kind of, there's some other dupes. I don't know if, like, you know, a few months down the road when I finally find more dupes, if you want me to share that or not, um, I can. So, it's going to be a while, though, because I'm just going to um, slowly build up. I don't need to buy <laughs> $600 worth of makeup at once. All right. Um, and if you're interested in, like, a battle of the boxes video um, for me to, like, talk about each box and their pros and cons, I can do that. Let me know, because there's, like, five or six different boxes I've tried now, and some I've liked, some I haven't, and I have reasons. Alright, thank, thank you so much again. Um, please subscribe, look at my Pinterest board, share, um, use my referral code. I would appreciate it. And leave comments. I'm trying to be better about comments, but my computer is on the fritz and I won't be able to get a new one. And it's really hard to do comments on my phone. So, but I'm going to get back to you. Thank you so much again. Alright, do you want to see these puppies? And again, sorry about my... I'm just not a clean person. Let's just be serious. Look at those puppies. Squirrel! Don't forget to adopt and don't shop. Look at those puppies. Marshall!